Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Taurus for the month of December. Um, I This month I'm going to be using the Lover's Path Tarot and I'm going to pull one card from the Psychic Tarot for the heart. All right, this is a really good relationship card deck here. So um, what I'm going to do is I will pull five cards and I don't really pull, I shuffle till one card falls out at a time. All right, a little bit about myself. If you've never been, uh, never seen my ch my videos or been on my channel, I'm uh, an empath. I'm what's called a clairsentient. So how I do my readings is through its energy work. So I can um, feel what another person feels. So if you're in a relationship and you're stuck and you're not sure what's going on and you don't know what the other person is feeling, I can tap into that person. So I kind of like to think of myself as the relationship expert. I um, I can feel what other people feel and tell you exactly what, you know, what the issues are and what the other person's motives are, you know, why they're behaving the way they are. Okay. All right. So I will shuffle until the cards fall out. And that's exactly what I do is I just shuffle. So I need, so I would like to know what the messages are for all Tauruses. What is the message for Taurus for the month of December? Message for Taurus for the month of December. Message for Taurus for the month of December. Message for Taurus. Okay, see all these cards fell out. I'm not going to read them. I'm going to put them back in the pile. I'm only going to read one at a time. There we go. There's the first one. All right. Message for Taurus for the month of December. Okay. okay, another one flipped over. Okay, message for Taurus for the month of December. Taurus for the month of December. Okay, put them back. Taurus for the month of December. Whoops, put these back as well. Sorry about that. One more card. Messages for Taurus for the month of December. Taurus for the month of December. Okay, take that one. I'm just gonna make sure that these are lined up really nicely for you guys to see. Okay, so the very first card here we have is the Five of Cups, and this card is the card that comes up in the past. So in the past, you have felt that loss, the regret, grief, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved, but there's always still hope. Because you can see here the um, two cups. Okay. I think Aries just got this card as well. So you have these two cups. This guy has his hands covered. His, his hands are covering his face, so he still can't see that there's hope here. Three of the cups are knocked over. All right. And um, this card here, sorry, these two cups are still standing up. So in the past position, you were feeling like there was no hope. That, you know, uh, you're just feeling that loss and that grief and regret in the situation. Okay, so then here we have the present situation and this card talks about innocence and this is like the fool in the tarot deck. So it's about fresh hope, it's taking chances, it's new beginnings, it could be travel. So even though here you felt like there was no hope, this card is telling you there is. I'm just going to grab the book on this and see what I just want to make sure I have everything that I need to know regarding this card. So innocence in the major arcana, arcana it is the fool. All right. So this talks about um, self-empowerment, mastery, actualization, sorry, uh, new ventures, innocence, trust, optimism. All right. It's a start of a great journey. Uh, innocence that allows one to be open to possibilities and protects from difficulties. All right, so here again, you're feeling at a loss. 
This card is telling you that there is a new venture in this relationship. Okay, so this comes up in the present. Okay, next card we have here is um, Illusion. This card represents the hidden influences. Okay, all right, and this I believe is like the Moon card. And uh, yeah, this is the Moon card in the traditional tarot. And this card talks about uh, it's being enchanted by love for better or worse. And it's confused by illusions that may or may not be real. Intense emotions and the need to know that's real. All right. So the hidden influences here, okay, is um, confusion. There's confusion by these illusions that may or may not make things real or feel real. So the moon usually is unseen problems. So you're trying, this card is saying that there's hidden influences here. All right, there's unseen problems. And by the light of the moon, you don't see all the facts. If it was a sun card, everything is crystal clear and light and bright and you can see everything. So this relationship could have some hidden influences here. Okay. All right. So the next card is the advice card. All right. This is the three of coins. It ta usually talks about skill. It's about studying something, learning. All right. So the advice here, uh, three of coins. Uh, talks about building of a relationship. Okay, so the advice is to build this relationship. Learn about the person. It's about uh, the ability to manifest and cooperating with others to construct such a venture. All right, so here we have in the advice position to uh, manifest and to basically study the situation, learn more about it, get to the truth of things. Okay, and the last card is the likely outcome. And here we have awakening. Okay, and this is another major arcana. So that is number 19. Okay, so this traditionally is um, the sun card. All right. So this is, this is good news. So with the sun card, this card talks about emotional awakening, an expansive life affirming energy that brings opportunities and optimism, love and sexuality, creativity and procreation, relationship with children as well. So the likely outcome here, this sun card talks about material happiness, a joyous outcome, really, really nice card. All right. Um, even, and so see here, you had the moon. All right. There was some hidden influences. All right. But it looks like by the end of the month, you're going to get to the heart of the matter. Okay. All right. So I will now shuffle till one card falls out with this deck. All right. What is the message for all Tauruses? What are the messages for all Tauruses? What are the messages for all Tauruses? Two cards fill out. See that? I'm not going to read them. There we go. All right. Strengthening bond. Strengthening bonds. All right. Let's just see what this card means. All right. Okay. The potential exists now to bring greater stability to your relationships. Be realistic about what you can expect from others and what you can offer in return. Be consistent and clear in your actions and demand the same. By taking a down-to-earth approach, your expectations of other people are more likely to be met and relationships will be strengthened. Scattered emotional energy will not serve you. Be sure to ground yourself. Steady and calm energy will translate into secure and strong relationships. To ground yourself, take a walk in nature and connect with the energy of the trees and Mother Earth herself. Enjoy greater health by exercising and eating well. A healthy body will help you feel confident about yourself and your abilities. This self-assured energy will enable you to improve current relationships and attract new ones as well. 
Okay, so very interesting reading. Like, you know, it you felt like all was lost, five of cups, and by the end of the month, you're going to get, this talks about a joyous outcome. Okay, all right. Again, if anybody was, is interested in getting a reading from me, my email will be at the bottom of the video. And uh, go ahead and email me. Uh, I, relationships is where I shine and I do my best work. All right, I hope you have a great month. Okay, bye-bye.